first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, today we're going to be working in a Samsung French door refrigerator. This is a compact Samsung refrigerator. That means this is a smaller version than the regular um, French door. The model number, it's on the display. And the problem that we have with this refrigerator is that it's accumulating water on the refrigerator. And we're going to find out why this is happening. So we're going to go ahead and remove all the uh, drawers. And as you see right there, it's ice built up. It's chunks of ice. So we're going to go ahead and remove all the uh, ice, try to get it out of the way. We're going to go ahead and remove the drawers. We're going to go ahead and pull the refrigerator out because the left drawer will not come out. So we need some space to be able to get all these com compartments out, all these um, shelves. Okay, we remove some of the stuff. Try to take pictures of everything before you remove that way you put it back just like it was. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws that holds this panel. Now if you're in a situation where this panel doesn't come off easy, you have to disconnect the refrigerator for 24 hours with the doors open or 48 hours with the door closed. To let the ice melt inside and then it will on jam the uh, this panel now we remove this little screw cover to be able to remove the Phillips screw that is holding this panel in place so remember it's two screws on the bottom and one on the uh, middle as you see it I'm trying to pry it out it's a little difficult in some cases this will not come out and people put hair dryers and um, not against the hair dryers but you have to be careful because the hair dryer if you put too much heat it will damage the cabinet of the refrigerator so my suggestion if you have a spare refrigerator go ahead and put all your stuff in your other refrigerator into this one uh, it's been disconnected for 24 hours as you see we have ice right there where the drain pan is that's where all um, the water supposed to be sitting or draining through that hole right there and that's blocked with ice now that is preventing the water from draining towards to the bottom of the uh, refrigerator towards the compressor and it's just overfilling the drain pan and that's the water that is on the bottom of the uh, refrigerator compartment. So we're going to find out why this is happening. So far we just see that it's just ice there. Now they make this part, uh, this is a drain clip, part number is on the display. And they make this part to um, resolve this problem because the original um, drain clip it wasn't doing a good job or it was too short or something was going on with the uh, uh, drain clip that comes when, uh, from manufacturing. Now use a steamer or hair dryer or oh, again if you don't do this for a living just go ahead and um, let it thaw out for 24 hours with the doors open. Now in this case I got a steamer and trust me this took very long time to defrost all this ice but i'm forwarded this video i cut a lot of time that i record for this video so it's not as easy as you see on the video and i'm just letting you know that it's going to take some time and you have to be patient 
now that is the drain clip for manufacturing and that is the hole the yellow arrow is where the drain clip is and the uh, red arrow is where the hose or the water should be draining again we're just trying to clear it up the uh, drain hole because it was blocked it was blocked with ice just put the steamer there and sometimes even if you put a hair dryer or the steamer it will not get unclogged and either way we're gonna have to do the next step which is check our drain line uh, and the back of the refrigerator now I put a lot of steam there and it's still holding the water I'm gonna grab a cup and put some water to see if it will drain the water out now I'm putting some water and it's not draining like I want it to so I'm gonna have to pull the refrigerator out and check our drain tubes and the back Just try to get to the back of the refrigerator. You have to work with your space. In this case, I don't have much space, so just bear with me. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this bottom panel. To be able to access to our drain tubes now sometimes these tubes are filled with dirt or corrosion or food they don't look that bad but we still gonna go ahead and clean them out this one is a little rough And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we clean them and put it back in place just try to check the two drain holes in the bottom nothing is blocking them try to move that panel out of the way and now we're gonna go ahead and clean it with hot water This is the way I do it. A lot of people, what they do is they replace this piece. And when they're dry and toasted and they, when you try to wash it, they break in pieces. That's what I do. I'm going to try to put a part number for this drain tubes on the description of this video. Again, if, if you can just clean them out, put some soap on it, put some warm water make sure they clean now when it's done put some soap squeeze it if they dry and toast it when you do that it's just gonna crack in pieces when that happens to you go ahead and replace it because if this piece is not right um, warm air will get in that pipe and it will frost the line it will create a condensation through the pipe and then it will create a blockage on your drain line just put it the way you're removing again a quick tip take pictures before you remove anything that way if you have a problem putting it back just go and look at the picture and that's gonna help you make sure they sit in place 
make sure you put this back panel the way you remove it and go ahead and install all your fillet screws in place now go ahead and push the refrigerator back in place and work your way to be able to put your drawers and all your um, stuff back in your refrigerator now if you have a plunger just go ahead and uh, use a turkey base as a plunger all technicians have one of these because they're pretty handy yeah, well, this is a life saver now we put some water there and now it's draining beautiful as you see the water goes down and that's what we wanted that you can get this at Dollar Tree or any any store Publix now grab a piece of plywood. be careful with the heat element because this um, drain clip is sit on your heat element so I'm using a um, wire cutters to be able to cut through the uh, aluminum drain clip and pry it out again be very gentle with it because you don't want to put a hole or cut the heat element next thing we're going to go ahead and install our new drain clip this is the old drain clip compared to the new drain clip it's a slash different there slightly different but we're just going to go ahead and replace it because that's what the manufacturing is telling us to do and just work your way around it try to sit it in place the best you can as you see on this video yes try to get it to the back of that heat element sit it in place and just do just follow this video and you will be able to get it right what this drain clip does is it makes trouble the heat from the heat element through the aluminum all the way through that hole and it helps prevent them from getting clogged that's how it looks after it's done now we're going to go ahead and start putting everything back together Just try to uh, pry this in as best you can. Go ahead and install your fillet screws. The one in the uh, middle and the two on the bottom. With your cover back on that screw and just dry all the water that has accumulate on the refrigerator compartment now go ahead and put all your shelves back in place This is the reason why I told you to take pictures to make sure which one goes where. Snap it in place. Make sure it's secure. Now 
I'm sorry about the movement of the camera, but I speed up this video because I don't want to make it too long. I don't want it to get boring. Pull your drawers back in place. At this point, we're pretty much done. I'm working with very tight spot in here, so I just have to make it work. That's it. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.